Hello, hello, wonderful people of the 51st state. My name is Drake Hill and welcome to our final episode of MBSN 8551. And now, some weather. Tomorrow's weather is gonna be 79 and sunny. And now, back to Upshur Cottage, where recent tragedy has shaken up the entire area. Take it away. And I would like to know what are the precautionary measures for um, if this were happen? Uh, what the precautionary measures for what happened before and how can we do to prepare this for if it happens again? Okay, so I'll answer the second half of that question and then when it comes to uh, setting up for it, I'll, I'll let somebody else take that question. Uh, your second half of the question was how can we prepare for if this happens again, correct? Yes. Obviously we need to have uh, swift reactions again. One of, the, one of the best parts about this whole situation was how fast uh, we, our first responders got to the situation. It vastly uh, limited the number of, of victims that we had. So we're always gonna be ready. We're gonna be prepared for anything like this. Like something out of a cartoon, a clown by the name of Matthew is suing the believed to be suspect Dominic for attempted murder and theft. It's believed that Dominic attacked Matthew with, quote, a squeegee and was beating him repeatedly until he crashed, then stole his wig and ran from the scene. With all the evidence and witnesses provided, the jury concluded that Dominic was guilty. On Friday morning, the bank was robbed by two suspects. Cut to that now. The forensics team was quickly deployed to identify any fingerprints or other evidence that would help identify the suspect. We'll hear from the bank president and a bank worker now. Uh, some guy came in with a face mask. He shot four times in the air, demanded to give him money, gave him the money, shot four more times and ran out the door. Yeah, he had curly hair, we know, and he was covering his face with some sort of mask. Webster County Sheriff Bear Matheny apprehended two suspects that fit the description given to us by the bank staff. And now we'll go to the historic Tomb of the Unknown. Take it away. The crosses that are there, that is the Mountaineer Boys <coughs> State National Cemetery. And you'll notice that have markers in front of them depicting each of our wars. World War II, 820. West Virginians perished in that war. World War II, 7,037 perished in that war. Korea, 1,388. Vietnam, 11,082. During the Cold War, nine. The Gulf War, three. Panama, Saudi Arabia, three to four. Iraq, Afghanistan, and enduring freedom, five to six. The total number of West Virginians killed in battle was 11,500 in all of our wars, conflicts, and whichever. When you're walking through here, remember that as you're going through here. Now you've probably witnessed your National Guard marking the tomb, marching the tomb today. This will conclude our ceremony.